Yesterday, I had a patient come to the office very upset. She has been receiving laser tattoo removal treatments and found a video on YouTube that said you could get cancer from laser tattoo removal. So I decided to look into this video and I'm going to critique it today to find if there's any validity to what she was concerned about. 25% of all Americans regret getting a tattoo. It's actually more like 50% of the patients get tattoo remorse. And most likely you're one of them. And that's why you're watching this video. But I'm here to help and in this video I'm going to answer the question does a laser tattoo removal cause cancer? Well, I totally understand that this question raises your worries because you're getting your skin treated with a laser. And lasers are pretty strong and can damage your skin. I took some time and did the research for you so you don't have to look it up yourself. And I found that luckily there are no studies that prove that laser tattoo removals cause cancer. So he says there are no studies that show that laser tattoo removal causes cancer, which is true. However, now he's going to say, in his opinion, it might cause cancer. That's not valid. It's not valid at all. That's just his opinion. However, there are unknown side effects and However, there are unknown side effects, some of which I will tell you now. And in the end of this video, I'm going to show you a way to remove your tattoo without any health issues whatsoever. So stay tuned. Anytime you hear a home remedy for laser tattoo removal, you have to be very careful. The tattoo ink is in your dermis, which is about three millimeters below the skin surface. For something to get in and remove tattoo ink, it would have to break through the epidermis completely and start to invade the dermis. And if it does get to the dermis, more likely than not, there's going to be some consequences, be it infection or scarring or pigment issues. Even though there are no studies by popular universities that show that laser tattoo removals can cause cancer, you should still pay attention. In fact, you're treating your skin with a powerful laser. The point of such a laser in a tattoo removal is that short, powerful blasts of laser pulses are able to fade and break down the ink of your tattoo. Now, depending on the color of your tattoo, that breakdown process is slower or faster. Black usually gets faded much faster than other colors. But anyways, the point is to break down the ink. And because you're firing a powerful laser on your tattoo, you can't avoid damaging skin cells. Actually, the way it works is you have photoacoustic laser pulses. In other words, the photo part is the laser beam itself. The acoustic is the snap that you hear when you use the two lasers that are FDA approved for tattoo removal, Q-switch lasers and picosecond lasers. Aside from that, you shouldn't use any other system to remove a tattoo. And what it's doing is it's shattering the ink into smaller particles and then allowing the immune system to take those particles away. And if you're unlucky, I am absolutely sure that something can go wrong with your cells. Skin cells are damaged all the time. The life expectancy of a skin cell is only 28 days and its components are recycled. Now I'm not a doctor, but I'm an electrical engineer and I totally know the dangers of powerful lasers. And I've had so many safety sessions with professionals and they all told us that lasers are able to manipulate the DNA. That's absolutely not true. The laser does not manipulate the DNA. A laser could destroy the DNA in the nucleus of a particular cell. But what he's referring to is the laser actually making mutations in the DNA and changing it. That doesn't happen. Some lasers look for a pigment. Some lasers seek water. 
such as ablative carbon dioxide lasers. And they vaporize the water and vaporize the tissues above the water. So the cell and its cytoplasm and its nucleus, mitochondria, and DNA that's in the nucleus are all going to be vaporized as well. But there's no instance of the laser turning your DNA into some mutated form. Of your skin cells and if you're really unlucky then that would cause cancer. However, this has not been proven by studies yet. It hasn't been proven by studies yet. We've had laser tattoo removal since 1962. Yet we have not had a whole bunch of patients coming in with malignancies after getting the tattoo removal. And to get a study going, you would have to have a population of patients who got tattoo removal who had a very similar cell line of cancer develop. And that hasn't happened. That's why you don't see studies. One possible explanation for that is that there haven't been enough proven, solid studies on the subject. So if there are not enough studies on the subject, of course there will be no proof that it causes cancer. But if I was you, then I would totally worry as well. And I'm sure that uh, what I just said uh, is one of the reasons you're watching this video because you have similar concerns. I wouldn't be worried about a laser causing cancer or changing my DNA. I would be worried, do I have a laser operator that's competent? Are they using a laser that's FDA approved and well taken care of? And are they using the proper fluences or laser energies on my tattoo? Not to mention, is it the appropriate laser? Laser hair machine is not for a tattoo. IPL, not for a tattoo. Fractionated CO2, not for a tattoo. Only Q-Swish and Pico. And let's just assume that laser removals are totally safe and don't cause any cancer. Then there still are known side effects of having laser removal. The first one being blistering. Your skin will hurt a whole damn lot. And not only that, there's also scarring, itching, and swelling. All of these things can be caused by lasers. Blistering occurs on occasion. Sometimes it's because there's a little too much laser energy. Other times, it's because the laser utilized causes blisters. For instance, my Q-Switch Ruby laser, which I use on blue inks, almost always causes a blister even on the lowest settings. The reason why is the physics behind it. It doesn't go very deep. Therefore, it kind of bashes up the superficial layers of the skin. Now, itching, no big deal. Not everybody itches. It's a sign that your immune system is actually working. And it is painful. That's true. Laser tattoo removal is a painful process. As far as scarring goes, again, I don't anticipate scarring in my patients. Whenever I've seen scarring, it's under two conditions. The patient comes and tells me somebody hit them with this laser and it turns out to be a laser for hair removal, or somebody hit them with the right laser, but they had the energy way too high. And your skin can permanently change its color if something goes wrong. That's called hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation is no big deal. It comes from repeated trauma and 95% of the cases resolve spontaneously in one year. Because the skin changes its pigmentation. And on top of that, if you don't properly treat your tattoo, then you can get an infection. An infection from a laser tattoo removal process is very rare. And it's because we are not breaking the skin. There should be no opening of the superficial skin, no means of bacteria getting into the skin. And all of that combined, blistering, swelling, hyperpigmentation, all of that stuff is absolutely not worth it in my opinion. Yes, getting a tattoo removed if you don't like it at all is absolutely necessary. You have to get your tattoo removed because otherwise you will be unhappy for the rest of your life. But 
A laser removal is not the only way. Laser tattoo removal might not be the only way, but it's definitely the way to go with the least risk of making scars and having adverse reactions. There are other ways as well, and you will find tons of them on YouTube, but trust me, I've watched them all. And they are about all kinds of stupid ideas, from rubbing your skin off with salt until you wear this, the tattoo ink off, up to um, destroying your tattoo with acid or burning it off or putting glowing hot metal on it. That's incredible and all of that doesn't have any advantage compared to a laser removal except that you can do it at home. Wow, you saved two thousand dollars or so but you are left with lifetime scars. Not the best deal, I guess. Well, what he just said is he mentioned all those other topics and I agree with them. It's not worth doing them. He's saying it's not worth doing laser tattoo removal. That I disagree with. These are all ways to do it at home that'll be significantly less expensive, but I could guarantee you, you're going to have some permanent disfiguration. I personally removed my tattoo um, based on a recommendation from a cousin who's a tattoo artist and he recommended a certain tattoo removal program which was all about a natural method to remove your tattoo at home. You can just go to the grocery store, get all the stuff you need, just, you, just basic, you basically just work off a simple step-by-step -step list. Okay, I'm going to stop it at that point because I don't discuss non-medical treatments for tattoo removal and there is no way that going to the grocery store and buying a bunch of fruits and vegetables and salt or whatever your other product is going to be that's going to go and remove ink from your dermis without some heavy consequences. So all in all, I think you could rest easy. There is zero evidence that laser tattoo removal causes cancer of any type. Also, there's no evidence that it alters your DNA. Hi, I'm Dr. Messina, and if you like these type of videos regarding lasers and tattoo removal, remember click subscribe, hit the bell to be alerted to future videos. And here's another video that I think you might enjoy.